Matthew, the teacher's gospel, the teaching gospel. Beginning with five, these five great discourses, the Sermon on the Mount, the mission discourse, the parables, life and leadership in the Christian community, and the end times. What I want is mercy, not sacrifice. Twice this line from Hosea is spoken as Jesus defends his approach to law and tradition. Jesus came to bear and lift human burdens, not to add to them. Isaiah's wonderful line, or wonderful picture of the suffering servant. What I desire. Comfort, comfort my people. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem. Tell her that her time of suffering is over. Matthew has contributed most to Christian identity and self-understanding. It is the church gospel. It has shaped the church. God with us, Emmanuel, begins and ends the gospel. Welcome into the final kingdom. Beautiful, but that's some tension. Tension with the darkness, with its weeping, gnashing of teeth. We have then Jesus fulfilling the hopes and promises of Israel. There, that are hopes that are embedded in the scriptures of Israel. This gospel was written at a moment of great change and turmoil, which makes it vital in our day. The church in the modern world to bring out what is new as well as being faithful to what is old. I've always been fascinated by the promise to Peter that the gates of hell will not prevail against it. But the Greek also says that the gates of hell shall not hold out against it. The first one is a church on defense. The second one is a church in mission, reaching out, carrying hope to people, to the world. A church that is seen and believed in because of what it does. Yes, the gates of hell will not hold out against it, rather than the defensive that the gates of hell, the church, the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Let's take the second one, the church on mission, because that is ultimately what Matthew is about. I am with you until the end of the ages.